Paul. Yeah, I'm just going to charge this phone up again and go through the text messages. <laughs> I'm one of these that really likes to document every lawsuit. <laughs> because um, it looks to me like you've not obligated Mike Van Proyen, yes, to change my last known address to 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Yes. It looks like you intentionally arrested me when you did know I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yeah. And then it looks like you're intentionally holding my sons hostage. Yes, because of your reissuance of a, a protection order right now. Mm -hmm. What brings us back to this whole idea of being a person, according to what the Internal Revenue says? Yes. The Department of the Treasury? Yep. <laughs> and then I found out that I said something wrong this morning. Oh, and I decided to look to see what an I-9 is. Yes, I think we should look at what the I-9 requires because for me to be employed, I have to have proof of identity. Yes, mm -hmm. I put a screen print in the 777 War Crimes Drive. Yes, now this is a list of uh, documents that are available. Yes, driver's license or ID issued. Oh, by a state or outlying possession of the United States, provided it contains a photograph or information such as my name, but the name's been changed. Yes. Such as my date of birth, but the date of birth is same. My gender is the same, but the height is different. Yes. The weight is different. Yes. And the address is different. Well, I think there could be a large number of lawsuits. Yes. Mm-hmm. For falsifying any document that uh, is a necessary, well, this I-9, yeah, it um, it's what allows an individual to be employed, employment eligibility verification, uh, Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services, <laughs> employee information and attestation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, uh, employer's email address, I attest under penalty of perjury that I am a citizen of the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, let's see, form I-94, passport number, foreign passport number, yes. Signature of the employee, Ouch. today's date. Mm -hmm. Prepare translator, I attest under the penalty of perjury that I've assisted in the completion of section one. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, employment, U.S. citizen, employer, authorized representative review and verification. Yeah. Employee information, identity and employment information. Oh, oh. <laughs> Certification, I attest under the penalty of perjury. Oh. And then re-verification and rehires, I attest under the penalty of perjury. Now, there's some acceptable documents, right? that establish both identity and employment authorization. Mm -hmm. A U.S. passport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, did you change the information on my United States passport? Well, you changed my information on the driver's license, right? And um, you falsified information in the issuance of a disillusion of marriage? Yes. Where I didn't get a copy of it? Yep. And you use forgeries and fraud to issue it? Mm -hmm. And then it's now usable uh, for any financial institution to garnish any asset. But today, we're working on the uh, uh, employment of myself. Well, how many laws are you violating right now? I told you I wanted to speak to Marilyn, mm -hmm. and I told you I wanted Mike prosecuted. And if all you need to do is prosecute right now, you prosecute him for turning the electricity off, <laughs> keeping all my personal identification, yes, inclusive of United States passport, yes, and then falsifying my driver's license information so that I cannot be employed in any business of the United States. <laughs> And I'm being obstructed from starting a business in the United States.